Hey, good evening, and welcome to the Comics Experience Graphic Novel of the Month Club for the month of February 2021. We made it. We're in the future. It's awesome. Um, we've got a cool book this this month, uh, and and a cool creator. And ooh, it's shiny. You can see it shiny on the screen. Um, it's Hypno Twist and Scarlet by Scarlet Starlight, uh, and they're both by Gilbert Hernandez. And Gilbert is right there. Hello, Gilbert. Hello, folks. How Hello, Brian. Again? Welcome to the show. Welcome, uh, welcome to it. We have a lot of young artists and writers who who watch this series. Obviously, um, if you had to make uh, one suggestion, one thought about how to make comics, it, it doesn't even have to be a physical thing. It could be a sort of a psychological thing, or or an emotional thing, or it can be a physical thing. Whatever it is, what would what would be your piece of advice to someone who wants to make comics? My PayPal account is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm, oh, gosh, just I. And the, you know what? I, we can talk about technique. We could talk about you know putting it down on the page, writing. Uh, I, you know, I don't know where to begin, but do something you believe in. Really, I mean that's it's, it's the simplest simplest thing to say. I know a lot of people do believe in themselves, and then they get discouraged. My brother and I have been doing Love and Rockets for 40 years because we didn't quit, yeah. right? We wanted to make comics. We, you know, we are making comics, you know. Uh, they're different from other comics. Okay, why not, you know? Um, but I, I would just say believe in yourself. But I'm not sure I have to tell that to an indie artist. I might have to say that to a mainstream artist, you know. They believe in themselves as, you know, I'm a good artist, but you know, believe in what you're saying to people. Bring it, bring, you know, go after humanity in your in your work. You know, that's that's my thing. You know, humanity is the most important thing. You know, the uh, but as far as putting it down on the paper, uh, when you when you can sit down and you know ready to start ruling borders. So sometimes it's just easy. Like you just get the page, the size you're going to do it on. If you you draw out, draw with pencil, you might be doing computer. So I don't know how to explain that to you, but. <laughs> the, you know, you roll the borders. You know, give yourself the the, the width of it, and just, you just put uh, do borders. That's what sometimes when I am not inspired to do any kind of creative work, I I, I rule borders because I'm gonna wow. I get a stack of paper because I know I'm gonna get to I'm gonna have to do that soon. And sometimes when you get excited about putting a, a story in paper, it's not ready yet. You got to do the borders, and you're like ah, you just you can't wait to do it. So it's, I'll just have a stack of paper with uh, you know uh, pencil lines for uh, different. Uh, uh, panel sizes and stuff. Wow! And you just pick out the one that works for that page. Yeah, I'll, I'll slide over and I go. Oh, this, this. I'll put these two together. No, they, they're repetitious. And then I'll, you know, uh, or sometimes it's just the, the frame of the the art. Sometimes it's just sure. that. But but you still have it. You know, you should still start putting your put your stuff down because there's nothing more frustrating to me is that I got to get to this, but I can't. Whoa! You know. Wow. You know. Well, I love this. I, I I I absolutely adore that. That is that is the greatest thing I've ever heard in in any of these interviews. I think. Oh my God! Thank you. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I wanna I wanna thank you for talking to us uh, about comics and making comics, and and I, I I admire you so much, not just for what you do, but the fact that you've got forty years on your own terms, and you're doing the comics that you want to make. On your own terms, that that is, there's there's eight guys who get to do that in a way, you know. And uh, uh, I, I salute you, sir, for that. I, I I think that's really really fantastic. My Gmail account has my PayPal on it. If you wanna, okay, being a dick now. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. No, that that's important to us because, uh, you know, we're we're approaching forty years, and we still want people to like our comics. You know, but our job is to do that. You know what I mean? Make those comics. You know, it's not just like me and I'll sit back and drink wine or cognac, you know. No, it's like, hey, like our comics. Let's let us keep doing it. You know, that, that's how it is right now. Yeah. You know, in a few well, years, I might feel different. Like comics, and that's why we made this the Graphic Novel of the Month Club pick. Uh, the books, and their books, uh, it's Hypnotwist on one side, it's uh, St Scarlet in Starlight, which is hard to say. That is a tongue twister. Scarlet uh, by Starlight. Right, right. It's just it does. I get. I want to say star when I say scar. And anyway, um, 
Uh, that's a swipe, actually. I got it from a, a song from the 1940s called uh, Stella by Starlight. Okay. And I always loved the title. I just loved the title, so I just swiped it. So. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> half, half of what we do is swiping. Me and Dad Atkins, man. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so this was this was the book for the month, and and Gilbert Hernandez was was the great author of this. If you're sitting at home, you don't know what else to buy. I don't know. I don't, don't want to buy a comic. Here's a comic to buy.